Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. I hope everyone is doing well. Happy Saturday to everyone. Hope you all are having a fantastic weekend. So today is gonna be a what I eat in a day, weekend vlog, eating all the things over the weekend. I'm gonna show you what I'm doing all weekend long. So it's gonna be the course of two days, Saturday and Sunday. So again, I hope everyone's having a great weekend. If you are new, welcome, my name is Tanya. Glad that you clicked on this video. Glad that you could join us and consider subscribing. So, right now, you guys, I just came from Sam's Club. You have already seen that haul, and you're probably saying she's got the same clothes on and still missing the same earring. Yes, I am, because it's five minutes later. I just filmed that Sam's Club haul. You already seen that. I'm gonna put that stuff away, and I'm gonna make myself something to eat. I'm gonna show you what I'm eating all day today and all day tomorrow and all the things. And it is it is one o'clock and I have not had a single thing to eat today I just had some water earlier when I was driving to Sam's Club I had some water and that is all that I had so far so I'm gonna figure out something to eat I did get a rotisserie chicken from Sam's Club so I might cut some of that up in a salad I'm gonna figure that all out in a minute get those groceries put away I need to clean out this refrigerator because we've been living here now for for those of you who are new, we just moved into this apartment. So we've been living here now for just over a month. We moved in um, just after Mother's Day. So yeah, so it's about time for me to give this refrigerator a really good cleaning and wipe down and just get it, you know, a little bit more organized than what it is. So after I figure out what I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna show you what I'm eating. Then I'm going to clean out that fridge, get the groceries put away, and yeah, and see what else we got going on for today. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna go and I'll be right back. All right, y'all, so I'm back and I'm gonna show you guys what I'm eating for my first meal. It's now 1.15, so I am having just a salad. I have lettuce, I have cucumbers, I have some of those flavor bomb tomatoes I got from Sam's, you would have seen that yesterday. Bacon bits and some rotisserie chicken on here. And for the dressing, I like to use the Ken Steakhouse dressings. And this is the buttermilk ranch. I don't do low fat dressings. I just eat the serving size, which is two tablespoons. So I have that and yes, I do measure the dressing out. And I am having a Coke Zero with my lunch. It's lunch now, not even breakfast, it's lunch. So I'm gonna eat this and I'll be back. All right, you guys, so I did go ahead and clean out this refrigerator. I just took a Clorox wipe and just wiped down all the shelves and I just organized some stuff, see what I had and what we needed to go ahead and eat up. So we do have like a container of grapes. That's all grapes back there that we need to go ahead and eat up. Everything else in here is fairly new. We are just about out of eggs and we have like these eggs left. I didn't get any out of Sam's Club. But anyway, I did put a small little Walmart delivery order in. That's going to be in today. When that comes, I'll show you everything that I got there. Only about $70 worth of, of stuff. So that's going to be coming soon. And this condiments drawer. Yeah, I mean, all that stuff is fairly new. Maybe one or two things I have from the other place. But we're going to go ahead and eat that stuff up. So that is good and then my freezer is just yeah i didn't do much to that but that's okay somebody turned off my ice maker so i'm gonna have to i still got plenty of ice in there so and just yeah that's that's all there so that's what that's looking like and then over here is just one little of these um at one of these fiber one brownies left so i just sat it there because it was in here in my pantry and I just uh, took it out. So this is what this pantry is looking like. I kind of straightened it up as best as I could. Um, so yeah, so we got like, you know, all the snacks are up there and just all like pasta there and just random stuff. Just, you know, I try to organize it the best I can, but you know, everyone going in and out of it all day long, it just, you know, doesn't always stay looking neat. So I just, Kind of straightened it up the best I could. And that's what we're looking like as far as the pantry goes. And I think that is it. 
This is the rotisserie chicken. I made my salad and everyone had some of that. This chicken is really good. I think, it, I think when I got it, yeah, it, it was really fresh and it's delicious. So, so all I got going on over here, a few dishes in the sink. I am just kind of loading the dishwasher as I go and we'll run that tonight. So anyway, y'all, that's all I got going on right now. And I'll see you right back here in a little bit. All right, you guys, so it is 2.17 and I have not had any coffee today. So I'm gonna go ahead and make myself a cup of coffee. I'm gonna do hot coffee this today. I'm gonna do hot coffee. Even though it's hot outside, I want a cup of hot coffee. So um, I'm gonna use this mug. I got this mug from DC when I went to go see my daughter and it just says Washington DC on it. It's so pretty and it's pink inside. Look how cute that is. So, make my turf from coffee. I'm gonna use this creme brulee Starbucks coffee. Get that brewing. I think I'm gonna use my coffee mate. This is the zero sugar coconut cream that my, you know when I went to Sam's Club y'all I forgot to get my stevia I have to get some more I mean I have plenty here but I need to get some more I forgot to get it I'm going to use some element the electrolyte powder this is the chocolate mint I'm going to use some of that not sponsored i just like it a lot well, she is a woman all right you guys coffee is done i'm going to go ahead and put my creamer in I do three tablespoons of creamer. I remember my daughter, <laughs> I probably told you guys this before. Um, I was making coffee and she was like, and I was measuring my creamer. She's like, you measure your coffee creamer? I'm like, yeah. I said, cause my eyeballs are big when it comes to coffee creamer and I will, um, I'll pour all this in there. <laughs> she was, it was so funny. She was like, wow. I said, yeah, your mom, I have no, when it comes to coffee creamer and like cashews and pistachios, oh man, I just, I just go nuts. Actually, I'm just going to use the rest of that. It wasn't that much. I don't typically like to use a whole packet in my coffee because this is, um, thousand milligrams of sodium and it can make the coffee too salty so I only use like a little bit with each cup of coffee and eventually I use the whole pack so these last me a long long time I do have some of the fruity flavor ones and I was watching someone else's channel and what she does with her fruity flavor ones is that she makes a slushy out of hers so She'll have like the, um, let me show you guys. And she literally makes a slushy and it looks so good. So I do have some of the packets of like the fruity flavor ones, like the watermelon salt and the orange salt and all of those. And I don't know, maybe one day I'll do that. Like this is a raspberry one. And then I have, um, <clears throat> this is the, lemon habanero and these are also great to cook with as well you can cook with these and it seasons up your food really nicely gives you that nice flavor and then you can um you'll have your electrolytes in your chicken or whatever i guess and like this one is the grapefruit salt this is really good i've had this one in my water that's because i'm going to start using these up maybe i'll do like she does and i'll do like a um like a slushy i have a blender right here on my counter so i could take some ice and put some packet element in there and make myself a nice little, a nice little slushy. So right now, like I said, I'm gonna have my coffee. 
it's just after two and I'm gonna fold up my laundry. I did do laundry also today. When I went to Sam's Club, I did laundry. Not at Sam's, but you know, while I was out, I did laundry. And so, I'm gonna put my laundry away and we'll focus on dinner much later. It's only after two. I just had that nice salad, so I'm good with food right now. Um, and that's all I got going on right now, you guys. I'm gonna have my coffee and I'll see you guys back here in just a little bit. All right, y'all, so I'm back. My Walmart order came in. It is now 6.20. Um, so I got my Walmart order and I'm gonna go ahead and just show you guys what I picked up for Walmart, well, what was delivered actually. And everything went great. Everything was in my order and it looks really good. So over here, I did get a bag of the pink salmon skin on fillets. I have been wanting to some salmon. So we just got the wild caught great value. <clears throat> pink salmon and this is their 32 ounce package i also got a bag of the tilapia skinless boneless flakes coming down here i did get some of these johnsonville better cheddar my son likes these he eats them just like they're hot dogs and these are really good and these are two carbs for one link so and 200 calories so i went ahead and got one of those I saw these real good. These are the seasoned chicken breast chunks, the Parmesan garlic. They were on sale for $5.11. You saved $2.75. So I didn't want to pass them up. So I just went ahead and got a small bag of these. I got a bag of the organic chia seeds. I want to try my hand, you guys, at making chia seed pudding. I see people make it all the time on other channels. It looks really good. I've never had it, so I'm going to give it a shot. And... You know, chia seeds are, for two tablespoons, only 130 calories, eight carbs, eight fiber, zero net carbs, if you count net carbs, and five grams of protein. So I'm going to take my hand at trying chia seed pudding. I got some unsweetened vanilla almond milk. I got that for the chia seed pudding. So I did get that. Coming over here, I did find, I was having a hard time finding these, the great value, the value, not great value. The Fiber One Value Pack 12 bars of the chocolate chip cookie brownie brownies. And these are five net carbs and two grams of sugar. These are a great little snack. I have them, I do fine with them, and I like those. So I'm glad that they had those in stock. I did get a package of the Colby Jack cheese. My son wanted some fruit snacks, so I just got him this mixed fruit box of fruit snacks. I got one red bell pepper. I did get a couple of potatoes. These, this potato right here is huge. That is a huge potato. So anyway, I got three of those. I got one Chobani Greek yogurt, non-fat plain. Here's the thing, y'all. I've never had Greek yogurt before. I'm not really a fan of yogurt, but I've never had Greek yogurt. So I'm gonna give this a try. I see people using this and they usually put one of these jello sugar-free pudding mixes in to flavor it up and this one is just a white chocolate it's sugar-free i was looking for the cheesecake one but i do hear a lot of youtubers say that the cheesecake sugar-free is hard to find so they have the white chocolate and sugar-free and they had the vanilla and sugar-free so i just went ahead and got the <clears throat> got the white chocolate if i like the greek yogurt with this i'm gonna make it you know a little bit of a dessert for myself um in the future so I went ahead and got that to see if I like the two of that together. I needed some vanilla extract. I didn't have any. And plus, I did need some for the chia seed pudding. So I got a thing of vanilla extract. I got some heavy whipping cream. I did get one bag of lemons. James likes lemons in his water. And it's good to have lemons on hand anyway. I got some of the chosen foods. This is the 100% pure avocado oil spray. I got a thing of... Um, bananas so they're a little green but that's okay we'll just let them sit out for a couple days and they'll be fine I did get my Atkins treats I did get the caramel chocolate nut roll bar I got those and I also got the break bar this tastes just like a Kit Kat I haven't had these in a while so I went ahead and got that just as for myself for a sweet treat I also got a package of the 18 count eggs all right y'all so this is my little Walmart order and I'm gonna go ahead and get dinner started and show you what we're having. All right, y'all, so this is what we're doing for dinner. I'm making some individual pizzas here. So I did use this 
I use this mini naan bread I got from Aldi. And this is in the garlic flatbread. And I tasted it, just the bread alone, and it's really good. So I'm using that. And on this one, just your regular traditional cheese and pepperoni um, with some pizza sauce. Not sure if my son would like this kind, so I just made him um, one plain, no, just one traditional one. And then I made three barbecue chicken ones. I used that uh, rotisserie that I got from Sam's Club. You saw that in my Sam's Club haul. And I used some of this GHU sugar-free original barbecue sauce, just as a sauce on the bottom. Uh, for the cheese, I used the Colby Jack cheese on there. And for a little bit of seasoning, I used this Grilling with Dad Dad's all-purpose seasoning. And this is a really good seasoning. And I used this one on the barbecue ones. On the regular ones, I just used some basil and some parsley. I'm out of Italian seasoning, so I used that on that. And then so, and I have a little bit of green pepper on the chicken barbecue ones. And we're gonna go ahead and throw these in the oven, y'all, and see how they turn out. Alrighty, y'all, so the pizzas are done and they look absolutely great. So this one over here is mine. I just have one with the barbecue chicken. And I also have some salad on the side with some ranch dressing. All right, y'all, so this is dinner for tonight. And when we come back, I'm gonna try those one of those yogurt bars you saw in my Sam's Club haul. All right, so I'll be right back, you guys. All right, you guys, so I'm back. That barbecue chicken pizza on that non bread was delicious, okay. So I'm back and we're gonna give one of these a try. I think I'm gonna try the, we will try the vanilla first. Vanilla just seems like a, you know, a safer choice. Well, I'm sure strawberry's fine too, but we're gonna try, this is what it looks like. I've never seen them before, I don't know if you have. We're gonna try the vanilla and this is, it. I'm just gonna take a bite. Mm. These are delicious. Absolutely good. The vanilla one, delicious. I'm sure the strawberry one is just as good. Which one is that? Mm, either one. All right, y'all. So I've tried them. They're good. I'm going to eat this for my dessert. And that's going to be it for tonight. And I will see you guys back here in the morning. All right. Have a good night, y'all.